Hey friends, welcome back to Kimmy's Kitchen and More. I hope you guys are having a great day. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys and I'm really excited because I've got a lot of new stuff. I went because um, there was maybe like three or four things that I wanted to get and I knew that um, our Dollar Tree prices are going up starting Monday. So I said, let me go look around, see what kind of treasures I can find and also get the things that I need and kind of stock up. Um, because while 25 cents isn't much, when you add it all up in the end, it does add up. You know, it, it does get to be, depending on how much you spend, depending on how much you need, um, or how much, how many good things that you find, um, it can definitely add up. So I said, let me just go check it out, get a couple things, and yeah, so let me share, share with you guys. First of all, um, I just happened to be walking by and I found this and I've seen a lot of people haul this. This is the soft soap brand and this is Gently Lavender Liquid Hand Soap Refill. Um, it says hypoallergenic hand soap for sensitive skin washes away bacteria. This is a 32 fluid ounce guys. So if you see this in your local Dollar Tree, grab them up. That is an excellent, excellent price. $1. Um, and then also I got it in the, uh, coconut scent. So lavender and coconut, and that's probably two. Um, lavender, lavender, coconut, and rose. Those are like my three favorite scents. Um, so I did get two of those and that should last us quite a while. Um, I put a hand soap container at our kitchen sink and then I also put them in our bathrooms. So I think this will last us a little while, but certainly if I find any more, I'll go back. Um, I didn't want to get too crazy and buy too many, but you know, um, like Tony over at Creative Chica Halls, she always gets things in threes because she has three sons and I always get things in twos because I have two kids. So <laughs> I think that's why like we do that. Like, I don't know. Anyways, next I also found, and it says not aerosol. So as opposed to getting the aerosol cans in the sure sense, now they have the, um, they have it in the pump sprays and I really like that. And this is the gardenia. It smells really nice. And then I also got it in the berry. And y'all have heard me say before, I go around and I spray our pillows and our couch. I even go up and spray like our toppers or curtains um, and things like that. And it just makes the house smell super nice. So um, I got those two. And then I did need some of the little Brillo scrubbers. And I love it that it comes in two. A lot of stores you can only get one and it's a lot more than a dollar. So that's a great great find guys and then I also got this um, I got four of these the Lysol lavender filled scent um, for your toilet uh, bowls and they make the bathroom and each flush smell magnificent so um, if you're looking for something just kind of spruce up spruce up the smell of your bathrooms this I definitely recommend it smells fabulous and then I also was looking, I needed to get some cotton swabs. And I thought this was a great deal as well. You get 300. There was one right beside of it for 200. And I was like, okay, that's a no brainer. <laughs> um, and then I found this. I thought this color was so pretty. It's the Wet n Wild brand, but you know what? It The color is beautiful. It says Fantastic Plastic Pink. And it's in 329B if you're looking for it. For it. And um, this is the uh, cruelty free. Um, they're now doing the cruelty free makeup. So I love that. And then um, I was super, super excited because I found these Mossy Oak socks. And guys, these are a name brand. These are so expensive. I couldn't believe I found these. Um, I will try to um, put a price um, like at the end of this video of some of the stuff that I found that I know that's more expensive than other stores. I was super, uh, super excited to find that because I knew that my husband would uh, be nice and warm like when he goes hunting. So I got that. And then I got um, these I got for my daughter for Valentine's Day. They're super cute. They're little crew socks and they have little kittens on them and hearts. Aren't they cute? And it says perfect, perfect together. I thought those were super cute. So I got those. 
And then I also got her these with the little, um, the little dachshunds on them. So I thought she'd like those. And then she likes sloths, so I thought she'd like these as well. Those are really cute. I'm going to fix, of course, her and my son up a Valentine bag. So I, I've been starting to try to get things for that. And then I found her this cute little necklace. I couldn't believe Dollar Tree had that. That was super cute. And she loves silver, so I got her those. And then I also found these. Um, it says love on it, and it's got the little pearls also. I thought these things were great for like friend mail and stuff like that. And this one is super cute. It's got the little gold hoop hoops and the little faux diamonds. And then this is the gift bag that I got for her for Valentine's Day. It says Happy Valentine's Day with the glitter on this side and then just the plain on that side. Isn't that pretty? I thought that was really pretty. And then for my son, I got him this one. I don't want to give him something too girly, but I thought this one was pretty. I got him that one. And then, let's see, I also got, um, I got this pill box. <sighs> I got this pill box for Max. I took him to the vet yesterday and got some bad news. Um, he does have cataracts in his eyes, but it's okay because he's getting older and it happens. Um, his heart did not sound good. I told her I wanted to have him checked out because I feel like when he is sitting, when he's at a resting pace, he is breathing heavily. Um, and I've noticed it, so I wanted her to do a full check out on him and they did x-rays and everything. And um, she, when she listened to him, she said, um, there's a chamber in his heart that doesn't sound right. So they did the x-ray and they came back and they said that he does not have heartworm disease However, he does have heart disease, and so he was put on three medications, one of them being Lasix, and so um, she said that his liver was sw a little swollen, his um, lungs, you know, were a little filled, so she um, wanted to put him on the Lasix to kind of get rid of that fluid and everything off his lungs, and that um, bring him back in 30 days and see how he sounds and see if he needs to go, if, he'll, if he's able to go off the Lasix and possibly the other medication. However, the heart medicine he will not go off of. He'll have to stay on that for the rest of his life. Um, so that was upsetting. That was, um, you all know I love my fur babies. Um, So yeah, that was a little upsetting, um, but I'm glad that we found it and I'm glad that we know what the issue is and that we can treat it now. So because he is on three medications um, two times a day, I wanted to get one of these because I am very busy and I want to make sure that I put all the medication into each day so that I know what is left. So that I'm not just taking him out of the pill bottle and then accidentally giving him extra or accidentally not giving him enough. So, um, I got him that to keep track of his medication. And then if you'll hold on, um, I've got the rest of my, um, haul to show. And so, um, I'm going to get this table cleared off and get it reset up and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is like the, um, food portion of my haul and I'm super excited because I did find, um, some really good new food stuff. Um food slash junk food stuff. So let me show you some of that junk food. So first of all, I was super excited because our stores have not had this strawberry cake. So by Pillsbury. And I was super, super excited because I've seen my friend Miss Brenda over at Maniac Grammy's Homestead and my friend Lois over at Life with Lois's. I've seen both of them haul these and I'm like, are you kidding me? When is our store gonna get those? So I went ahead, like I said, I know it's going to be going up in price. Oh, and these are good until May 16th of 2023. So no rush to make a cake. I can, you know, make a cake for her birthday or I can make a cake for Easter or whatever, or just because we have a craving for a cake. But I got two of them because like I said, the price is going to be going up and a super cheap for a dollar. So I got those two. And then 
I must have had like a sweet tooth when I was shopping, which I really don't know when I don't have a sweet tooth, but <laughs> um, like I said, I found some really neat stuff. So I just went ahead and grabbed it up because it doesn't mean I'm eating it all today or tomorrow or the next week, but we will eventually, you know, we'll eventually eat it. So it's there for us. And so I got two of the Duncan Hines Chewy Fudge and um, the kids and my husband, they all like just kind of like the brownie, you know, but I like it with, let me find it, I like it with some nuts in it. So I got a package of these Nature's Garden chopped pecans. So I haven't decided yet if I'm going to do, um, well, and I can always do one one week and one another, but, um, you know, when I do on Wednesdays, the Grammy's Dull Tree Mills and Snacks videos, I'll probably do a video where I make this um but i do have several other things here to do taste tests with so be sure to, if this is your first time joining me be sure to tune in on wednesdays because like i said i have the grammy's dt which is the dollar tree mills and snacks video where we will uh, a bunch of us and um miss brenda over at uh maniac grammy's homestead she started this collab and a bunch of us will get on and we'll taste test foods or snacks, cakes, whatever, drinks, at the Dollar Tree highs, and just to kind of show you that you can make inexpensive meals and snacks. So, um, yeah, if, and anyone is welcome to join that collab as well, and we always on Wednesdays have the description how you're supposed to post it um, so that you know and others can go click on that link and go to the other channels as well. So stay tuned for that on Wednesday because some of the stuff in here I will taste test and I'm not sure what yet um, but there is some yummy stuff that I will taste test for Wednesdays um, so yeah I got two of those and then I picked up a thing of the Sunny D because the kids love that I love that too I don't drink OJ quite as often as I probably should but it is good and, and I, I would much rather a lot of people say this is an OJ I would much rather have this than I would uh, I don't like the orange juice with pulp in it and my son and my daughter don't either so um, yeah my husband does but we don't <laughs> and then um, I found I was super excited I found this old El Paso world taco kit and this is in the Caribbean inspired inspired jerk chicken and so for a dollar, I was like, are you kidding me? Yes, please. So this kit includes medium pineapple pepper sauce, which you see right there. And maybe I'll do a uh, video on this for Wednesdays. This is the, you also get the mild jerk seasoning mix. And then you also get 10 flour tortillas. So all you need to do is just eat, add the meat and the toppings. So you just add your, if you, you know, of course your chicken, if you want your, um, uh, you know, sour cream, cheese, anything like that. Just add that in with it, lettuce and stuff like that. So super, super excited to try that. And then I did pick up some of these little Tootsie Pops. Some more of those. And then I found the Harry and David Moose Munch, just the premium popcorn. And at the bottom it says the best popcorn on the planet. And this is in the milk chocolate. They also had it in the dark chocolate, but I didn't get it because y'all know me. I'm not really a dark chocolate person other than um, peppermint patties. So, and then I also got it in the classic caramel. I thought, oh, that would be delicious. And then I got the, I have not had these in forever. And this is the uh, Hostess Orange Cupcakes. I love, I love orange flavored stuff. That's just, mm, yum. And then I got the, uh, the Twix to write for my daughter. And then I got the Hershey's cookies and cream for my son. And then I got the Reese's, uh, potato chip big cup. I love these. Got that for me. And y'all heard me say before, my husband is not a, um, uh, sweets person. He hardly, rarely ever eats sweets. So that's a rarity for him to eat that. And then I got a thing of the sour cream and onion lace stacks. And then I also got the chocolate, like the orange, but this is the chocolate, the swirly cupcakes, the tasty cake. And I thought, you know, grab those kind of things right now, like I said, because they're going to go up. And then I got the birthday cake. So I figured my daughter would like the birthday cake, my son would like the chocolate, and I like the orange. 
And speaking of my son, I did get him these for Valentine's Day. He loves these. So I got him those. I'm going to put those down in his bag. So that they're there. And then I found these Lugano Brazil. Um, it says since 1976, you get four pieces. It's the strawberry cream filled premium white chocolate truffles. So I thought those would probably be good for maybe like a taste test too for the Dollar Tree meals and snacks. And then I got two of these. These looked really good. This is the original gourmet chocolate fusion, gourmet milk chocolate covered biscuits. They are 170 calories for three cookies, guys. <laughs> so, but don't they look delicious? Oh my gosh. I said, I'm going to get two because so many times, you know, you get one and then you really like it. You go back and they're gone. So I say, I'm going to go ahead and get two because the worst comes to worst and we don't like it. No one in the house likes these. We'll just re-gift these to someone else. It's not a big deal to send them out and family and friend out. And then, let's see, last but not least, I got this scrumptious brand. Y'all have seen me haul the scrumptious brand cookies before. These are the scrumptious wafer rolls. And this is in the hazelnut cream filled. And we love hazelnut. So I figured that would be delicious. And it says it's best before January 6th of 2023. And the for four wafers, it's 130 calories. So yeah, that's my haul, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, please say a prayer for Maxi and um, all of us. And I'll be praying for all of you. And I hope that you guys have a wonderful, safe rest of your day. Um, once again, there's going to be bad weather up north and in the Midwest and different places. And even here in North Carolina, we're expected to get possibly a little freezing rain. Teeny tiny bit of snow. I don't think it's going to amount to anything because it just never does. But um, but that's okay. I like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you guys have a, a safe weekend. And until next time, bye y'all. Hey guys, sorry. Um, thank you for... Staying with me. I want to tell you something, guys, real quick. I told you guys before that I was going to give you words of encouragement or advice and things like that, tips, um, at the uh, end or beginning of every video. So I just realized I hadn't did it in this one. So I want to go ahead and say that your life is your garden. Your thoughts are your seeds. If your life isn't awesome, you've been watering the weeds. <laughs> Stop watering the weeds, guys. All right. Have a blessed day. Bye, y'all.